Did you know that you don't have to buy three different car seats for your child? You could be one and done with an all-in-one. This is the Maxi Cozy Priya all-in-one car seat. So Maxi Cozy recently updated their Priya car seat. It used to be a convertible seat and now it can actually carry all the way through that booster mode and it has become an all-in-one car seat. We love this car seat because it, as we love our all car seats that Snuggle Bugs carries, it just packs so many great features. So with this seat, you can use it in infant and rear facing mode from 40 to 40 pounds or up to 40 inches tall. You can use it in forward facing mode up to 65 pounds or 49 inches tall and you can use it in booster mode all the way to 100 pounds or 52 inches tall. I hope my grade 11 math teacher is really appreciating the memorization that I just did on those numbers. So um, looking at this seat, a few features that I want to call out that I adore. So obviously we love an anti-rebound bar as a great safety feature in the seat. The Priya also comes with two cup holders which can be easily removed and thrown in your dishwasher um, to, to keep them nice and tidy when they get a little grimy. Um, you've got a really nice magnetic buckle clip here that just helps to kind of keep your, it, it just helps to make it easier to harness your baby in. You've obviously got a lot of extra padding in here. So this padding is always going to be used, you know, more so when your child is an infant and you want to get them nice and snug in that seat and get them at the proper angle so that they're riding safely and they've got a proper um, airflow. So as your child grows and gets older, you're going to remove these paddings once they hit different weight limits. One thing I will mention is that it does come with shoulder pads as well as most car seats do. And those are the one elements of padding that we actually recommend removing for infant and adding them back in as your child is older. Because when your babe is an infant, their shoulders are so they're so tiny and you don't have a ton of space to work with. So by removing these pads, you can make sure and that you're getting the proper position of your harness and chest clip, which is ultimately more important. So a few other things that I'll mention about this seat are that you have a multi height adjustment, um, which I will show you. I just got to extend our harness a bit. Give me more space to work with. So that's how you're gonna open and extend your harness. To adjust the height, you've got a no rethread harness. You're just gonna pull this up and down and you can see that as you're raising the height of your headrest, your harness is also auto adjusting, which is excellent. When you transition the seat to forward facing mode, you will remove that anti-rebound bar, which is super easy to do. And I'll show you as part of our recline because there are multiple recline positions available in this seat to ensure that you're getting that ideal fit with babe. So when you are using this seat for an infant, an infant is supposed to be at about a 45 degree angle in their seat. So you're always going to have it at that most reclined position. And as they get older and they get more core support, you can push the back of the seat up to have it less reclined. So when you do have your seat in a reclined position, it's very easy to then pull out this anti-rebound bar at the front here, which is really nice. You're gonna do that only when your seat is in forward facing mode um, as both a convertible and in booster option. So now let's talk about when your child is using this seat as a booster for a moment, because as a booster, what you're going to be doing is actually tucking these harness straps in behind the frame. These pads would have been removed long before you're in booster mode um, and you would have your headrest at probably its higher position. You can see here, if you zoom in really close, you've got this red piece here. That's actually where you're going to root your seat belt through because in Rear facing and forward facing convertible mode, you're always going to be using the harness um, and you would be using the seat belt of your vehicle to actually install the seat. 
when you transition into booster mode, that's when you are tucking the harness in behind because your child will actually be using the vehicle's seatbelt now to secure themselves in their car seat. And when you do that, how you're installing your seat is actually through these soft latch connectors, which I can show you right here. You've got these latches that are just tucked away and you would um, install them into your vehicle and that really just helps to ensure that your seat does not become a projectile in the event of a collision. So those are the key overview stats of the Maxi Cozy seat. Couple things that I wanna mention before we get into install is the side impact protection on this seat is really fabulous. Um, and you know, the, the fabrics are just a really great quality machine washable. So this is definitely a great option for an all-in-one car seat. Now let's get into a quick overview of these installs. Now, I will mention that we do have a full length YouTube video on just the Maxi Cozy Priya where we go through in depth on even more features and even more detail on the install. So check out that video if you wanna go through the nitty gritty. Now let's install in rear facing mode. So first off, when we're in rear facing, we're of course going to have our anti-rebound bar attached. And when you're using this with an infant, you're going to want to recline in your lowest position. Now I'll flip the seat around. One thing I will mention, if you can come in close. So on the side here, there's this level bar. So you wanna to try to have the seat as level with the ground as possible. And that's just a bar that you can use um, to ensure that you're getting that proper fit. So now we're going to pull out our seat belt and we're going to be rooting in rear facing mode through these um, seat belt slots at the bottom of your seat. So there's one on this side, there's a corresponding slot on the other side. I'm doing a seat belt install today, but you also can install rear facing using the UAS latches. So just take a look at the manual if that's how you want to install. So first I'm gonna pull my seat belt out. I like to do a lock off with the Priya. Um, this sample seat that we have doesn't have a lock, but you know when it's locked off, could you get that clicking sound? I'll root through the base here, coming around to the other side, and I'm just really pulling through that seat belt hole, clicking into place, and then again, making sure that I kind of do adjustments on my seat to ensure that we're getting the proper fit. Um, I would make sure, I'm making sure that my seat belt is snug and that uh, the seat belt is appropriately locked off so that you're not getting movement in your seat. That was me moving the entirety of our sample car seat, but this is your install in rear facing mode. Now when installing in forward facing mode, again, you can use the UAS latch connectors, but I am going to be using a um, seat belt install again. So first I'm going to release my top tether from the back of the seat. You always need to use your top tether when installing in forward facing mode. I will loosen it and get it ready to go. There's nothing like installing the seat and realizing you left the tether at the back and needing to uninstall. The other thing I will do is remove my anti-rebound bar. So it's easiest to do when the seat is in this recline position. You're just going to pull it out set it to the side in good storage, and then I'm going to change the recline of my seat to be in this upright position. Then I will attach my tether just to the back of my seat here, making sure that it's tight and pulling up on any additional slack. And then for the forward facing install, I'll show you that the two belt paths for this are just kind of on either side of the seat here. So they're at this higher position. It's easiest to install if you've got these um, pads removed and then you can kind of open up the back of the seat. You can see here, um, you can just kind of get a bit more in behind and use that to help wiggle, wiggle the seat belt through. So I will pull through here. And then again, tightening to ensure that there is no leftover slack in my seatbelt. My tether is attached. My harness is ready to go. And that is your install in forward facing mode. Again, if you have a lock off on your seatbelt, you'd wanna pull that out to ensure that it's fully ratcheted. So our little baby is not so little anymore. 
Let's take a look at this booster install. It is very easy. So first of all, you're actually going to remove the harness when using the seat in booster mode. So you can find the details for that in your car seat manual, but you're just gonna remove the crotch buckle, remove these harness straps so that your child, this whole seat will be open and your child will now be using the vehicle seat belt to secure themselves in the car. So a few things for the install of this. We're going to keep our top tether attached at the back of the seat. And when you are using the seat in booster mode, you're definitely going to be using your UAS latch install. So for that, you're just going to remove the UAS latches from the um, onboard storage. You're going to route them through the forward facing belt path here. And then you're just going to plug them in to your vehicles UAS latch connection point, and then we'll do the other side. Once you are installed, you're just going to ensure that you get that really nice and tightened up. You never want your seat to be moving it more than one inch in either direction. So once you are secured, you are good to go. When you're using the booster with your child, you actually have, so you're, gonna, you're going to be pulling the seatbelt over their lap like so, and they would be secured in. And you're actually going to be routing the top of the seatbelt through this red connection point up here. So that, is ensuring that your child, that the seatbelt is properly positioned across their chest and neck because that is really the point of the booster seat. Your child is not at a stage yet where they can just be in the vehicle seat because the seatbelt will not fit properly. So your booster seat helps to elevate them a bit and put them in a better position so their vehicle seatbelt properly fits across their body. So that is the Maxi Cozy Priya All-in-One Car Seat. This is the Peg Perigo Primo Viaggio all-in-one car seat. So this car seat can accommodate an infant from four to 40 pounds, up to 49 inches tall, in rear-facing mode. In forward-facing mode, it can accommodate a child up to 65 pounds. And in booster mode, it can accommodate a child up to 120 pounds or 63 inches tall. So this definitely has a lot of room to grow with your child. It's also a bit of a slimmer profile. So sometimes when people are looking for a three across all-in-one option, Option, this one can fit the bill. So looking at the interior of this seat, you've got some really nice infant inserts here that would be removed as your child grows. You can see you've got the beautiful leather detailing throughout the seat, really makes it super easy to wipe and wash clean. Um, you've also got a removable cup holder on the side. Now this cup holder can very easily just be popped off and moved to the peg on the other side of the seat. So you've got options there. The seat does have six different recline positions that you can move between. And then you've also got the ability to adjust the headrest by 12 positions as well. And again, you're going to get that no rethread harness. So as you're pulling up your headrest, your harness height is auto adjusting to be in the proper position for your little one. Now, getting into the base of this seat, as you can see, we've got a nice anti-rebound bar here that's built into the base, which this is kind of cool because most seats have a removable anti-rebound bar, whereas this Peg Perigo all-in-one is actually just a straight up anti-rebound bar built into the base. And it has the option to extend in rear facing mode to give your child a little bit of extra leg room, which is a great option. Then, since it doesn't remove, when you are ready to move into forward facing, you're actually just going to pull on this piece and turn your seat around. And that's how you get into forward facing mode, which is super cool, love that. Couple other things I wanna call out. It has this really nice pocket on the back for holding your car seat manual. Honestly, it is so handy to have that. 
And you've also got three different colors for your different install methods. So you've got red for forward facing, green for booster mode, and you've got blue when you're installing in rear facing mode. The last thing I want to call out is that you've also got these really nice kinetic side pods. So when you're installing this in your vehicle, whatever side of the car seat is closest to the door, you will twist out this kinetic side pod and it gives you that extra layer of side impact protection to really divert forces in the event of a collision. So a really great safety feature. Now, this seat can be installed using the UAS latches or with your vehicle seatbelt. We're gonna show you a quick install now using the vehicle seatbelt for rear and forward facing and then the latches for booster mode. So we're ready to install this seat in rear facing mode first. So with your infant, you wanna get that 45 degree angle. I'm going to recline our seat. And then otherwise with the seatbelt install, so what you're gonna do if you can come in close is you're actually going to unzip the base of the seat here and that's gonna open up this lock off system that you need to use when installing um, your seatbelt. So I'm going to pull my seatbelt out, get a lot of slack here. And then with that rear facing install, you're going to be using your blue seat belt path. So I'm gonna to toss it up through here. And then you can see that I've got my belt exposed. And then what I'm gonna do is pull it through the bottom. Now I need to thread my seat belt through these blue lock offs here. So I'm going to push it down and make sure I get a nice snug fit. And then same thing on the other side, we're putting both the shoulder and the lat belt through this pull through. And then once we are properly positioned so that there are no kinks in our seat belt, we'll then plug into the base of your car seat and then start removing any slack. So again, we'll go to this top section and just really we wanna make sure that we're taking any excess belt through the back there. And that is in essence your rear facing install. You're just going to close this back up. And then if your seatbelt does have a lock off, you can pull that out and make sure that you hear that clicking sound so that everything is locked off and nice and tight. At the end of the day, you don't want this moving more than one inch either side. So you're just going to really push down as you're tightening things off to make sure that you're getting a tight fit. Now let's get into the forward facing install. So first up, we're actually just going to turn our car seat around. So you use this anti-rebound bar, pull on the tab and rotate your seats. Once you're rotated, you're gonna retract that anti-rebound bar back in the original position. The other thing we're going to do is release our top tether from this compartment. Now, I won't put the compartment back on, but in real life, put it back on because this has your airplane um, approval stamps that you'll need if you're ever traveling with your seat. Now, we've got our tether released and we've got our seat in forward facing mode ready to be installed. So first, I'm just going to attach my tether at the anchor point on the back of my car seat, making sure to tighten that up. Now, when you are installing in forward facing mode, you're going to want to extend your harness, open it up and just release this section here because you're actually routing your car seat or through the back of the harness here. So you can see these red tabs on the side. That is where your vehicle seatbelt is going to be going through. So I'll just quickly pull out my seatbelt. You always wanna have your lap and your shoulder belt together like this flat. You don't want any kinks in your seat belt when you are installing. Throw it through the other side. Plug it into our seat belt and then I'm gonna go back through and ensure that I've got my seat belt properly positioned in these lock offs here. Now, once that is done, you're gonna go through and really tighten up your seatbelt. You're gonna wanna push on your car seat to really ensure that you're getting that very tight fit. You don't want any extra slack in your seatbelt. And you can even pull your seatbelt all out all the way to get it in that lock off position and really push down because you don't want movement in your seat. Once you are set up and ready to go, 
you can put your backrest back in position and have your harness ready to go for your child. Now, otherwise, you're just going to adjust your harness height. And again, whichever side your vehicle door is on, you're going to pull out that kinetic pod. So if the vehicle door is on this side, I'm going to twist out my kinetic pod to get that side impact protection for baby. And that is your forward facing install. Your big baby is ready for booster mode. So let's take a look at that install. First, you are going to remove the harness because again, they're gonna be using that vehicle seat belt now. So the harness is properly put away. Just check your car seat manual for how to do that. Pretty easy. Then you're gonna roll up your seat back. So here, there's a little compartment here and that is where your UAS latches are stored. So we've got a latch here and here. So we'll close up that compartment and then you are just going to feed your UAS latches through that same compartment that we fed our um, seatbelt through in forward facing mode. So we'll feed it through up here. You'll make sure that the belt portion is going through that belt path again, that red section. We'll install the UAS latch on side one. Then we are going to pull over on side two. and attach it to the latch on the other side of our seatbelt. Then we will start pulling. Now, again, you wanna kinda lean on your seat. You really wanna get a tight fit here. Um, I can't emphasize it enough because I'm not going super tight in the install, but in reality, you will want to go tight. Then you will just buckle back in the back of your seat cushions and you've got your kinetic pod out on whichever side your car door is on and you're ready to go. When you are in booster mode, you do still have that top tether connected to the back of the seat. And when your child is buckling in, you're going to ensure that the lap belt goes over these blue sections here, these, sorry, these green marks on the base of the seat. That's the proper positioning for the lap belt. And then the shoulder belt will go through that positioning here on the side. You've got one of those on either side of the seat to ensure that you're getting that proper fit. I'm gonna weave it through. And that is full booster mode for your Peg Perigo all-in-one car seat. This is the Cybex Eternus Sensor Safe All-in-One Car Seat. So this car seat is really cool because it has Cybex's patented sensor safe technology in the harness. So this clip can be Bluetooth connected to your mobile device and it will help to alert you if your child has unbuckled their clip while you're driving or if um, the car seat has become too hot or too cold or it will also alert, alert you if a child has been left unattended in the vehicle. So this sensor safe clip is so cool. I love the safety features that it brings. Um, this car seat is also made and manufactured in Germany, which is pretty neat. So getting into the high level stats of the Eternus car seat. So when in infant and rear facing mode, this car seat can accommodate a child from five to 50 pounds. So that's an extended rear facing capability. And then in forward facing mode, you can accommodate a child up to 65 pounds or 49 inches tall. And in booster mode, you can accommodate a child up to 120 pounds or 57 inches tall. So lots of versatility for your growing child. Now, the car seat itself comes with a, um, cup holder on the side here, which can be placed on either side. You also have uh, a lot of movement and adjustability in the harness. So here you've got 12 harness adjustment positions um, and your harness will automatically re-thread to the proper height based on your adjustment. You've also got this really unique to Cybex uh, capability to, you've got three positions to actually adjust just the headrest alone. So that's really nice if your child just wants a little bit more customization in that headrest. You've also got, when you're buckling your child in and out of the seat, you've got these really nice magnetic buckle holders off to the side here. So that will, I'm gonna pull up, but that will keep your seat belt out of the way while you're buckling your child in. And that is such a handy feature because there's nothing like 
rummaging around behind your child to find the, seat, the harness after they're already in their seat. Now you've also got some really great customizable side impact protection with this seat. So this is, um, you would just press this button to have the side impact protection pop out. This will give you an additional 25% side impact protection in the event of a collision. You have a few different levels that you can customize it to based on space in your vehicle. Now this you would pop out on the side of the car seat that's closest to the door. So I mentioned you've got 12 headrest height positions, you've got three adjustments that you can make for the head support itself. You also have six different recline positions with this seat to really get the optimal positioning for your babe. Now, underneath the seat itself, you've got your UAS latches, so you can do either a seatbelt install or a UAS latch install for both rear and forward facing, and then when you get into booster mode, you're going to use those latches. Now, let's take a look at that install. Now let's get into the rear facing install on the Eternus. So we have attached our anti-rebound bar here, um, which comes in the box with your car seat and you're always going to use in rear facing mode. And now I'm also going to adjust the recline position of my seat. They've got these indicators here so you know, and a leveling so that you know which recline position to be in rear facing mode. We'll now flip the seat around and when we are on or when we're installing the seat i've removed already one of the infant inserts it's just a little bit easier because when you're doing the install on this you're going to need to get under that padding so we'll quickly open up our harness to give us better access to the back of the seat we'll feed this crotch strap through here. You do have multi-position adjustment on the crotch strap, which is great. And now we've exposed our installed belt path. So you are going to feed your lap and shoulder belt through this hole, and then your shoulder belt is actually going to be fed through this lock off. So I'll head around to this side, grab my shoulder belt, and I'm just going underneath the seat through my belt path here. and carrying that over to the other side, making sure that I keep that smooth, um, no kinks in the belt. We'll plug it in and then like I mentioned, we will weave the shoulder belt through this um, top section. So you do kind of need to, it's gonna take you a minute to fiddle around with it to make sure that you're getting properly in that lock off position and you've got that on both sides of your seat. So you can kind of see how that's working there with my seatbelt in. We're gonna make sure that we have removed all of the slack from the car seat. It's probably easier to do that before you weave the seatbelt in through that tension, but ultimately you're going to be putting, taking out all the slack, really make sure you push down on the seat, further remove the slack, and then weave that seatbelt through the shoulder uh, the shoulder belt through the top sections on both sides. And then once you are ready to go, you're going to just put your harness pads all back in, put your infant inserts back in. And last but not least, you're gonna wanna make sure that you lock off your seat belts um, so that you hear that clicking to finalize your install. Okay, now we are ready to go in forward facing mode for the install. So we have removed our anti-rebound bar that you would only use in rear facing mode. We've also changed the recline of the seat to be um, in forward facing mode. There are indicators and a bubble, le bubble level on the side. And I've released my top tether from the storage compartment at the back of the seat. So I will quickly hook my tether in, making sure that my belt is nice and tight and now let's take a look at this install so we will move our harness buckles off to the side here i find it easier to install when your head position is your headrest height is up high so you've got just a bit more space to move and now back here is where your install is going to happen so you're going to be feeding through these um, belt paths on either side of the seat and then we need to open up the lock off on whichever side of the seat 
has the shoulder belt. So in this case, the shoulder belt on this side, so I'll use the shoulder belt lock off on this side of the seat. So first I will feed it through both positions. making sure that we have no kinks in our seat belts, and then we will tighten it up as such, just making sure that we remove any slack from the seat belt. In order to really do this properly and an install on your own vehicle, you're really gonna wanna sit on the seat, really put a lot of pressure on it to ensure that there are no um, kinks and there's no additional slack. Then I'm going to feed the top um, shoulder, the top portion of the shoulder belt through this red lock off. And then once it is properly fed through, I'll close that lock off door. To get, so I'm closing that door here. And then we will ensure that we've got that proper install again making sure that you have removed any slack from that seat belt. Then the last thing that you're going to do is just pull your seat belt out until you hear that click and it gets into that locked position. So you're getting no more than one inch movement in your seat in either direction. All right, now we are ready to install in booster mode. So with the Cybex Eternus, when you are removing the crotch strap and the harness, you're actually going to need to disconnect them from the seat. So I'm not gonna do that for the sake of today, but I will show you the UAS latch install technique just so that you are familiar with it. So let's get this out of the way. We'll pull back our seat. Your UAS latches will have been in this little storage compartment here. I've pulled them out already and we will just get into the forward facing belt path that we used previously with these UAS latches. We'll put one on one side and then we'll get the other one through the other side. And you're going to attach these to the anchors in your vehicle. So once you are loosened up and you can get that attachment point, now you're going to come back and really tighten this up from the interior of the seat by pulling on this cord that's connected to your UAS latch. You want to really make sure that there's no additional tension in your belt. You'll want to push down on the back of your seat to further get that nice and tight. Then you will reposition the backrest of your seat. And again, your harness would be set away at this point. Your top tether is attached and you would be ready to go in booster mode. So when your child is loaded in the seat in booster mode, you've got your lap belt, which is gonna go across these red indicators. And then your shoulder belt is going to go in the belt positioning path at the top here to ensure that you're getting that optimal fit between their shoulder and neck. And that is the Cybex Eternus S Sensor Safe All-in-One Car Seat. This is the Britax One for Life All-in-One Car Seat. Now, the thing that I love about Britax is the safety features that it brings to the car seat market. So Britax is known for their whole safety, it, it's really in their DNA. So you've got a steel frame, you've got the crumple zone technology in the base, you've got multiple layers of side impact protection. You've also got your um, click tight installation that makes installing the seat so easy and you've got their patented V-shaped tether. So what this does is if you ever are in a collision, this stitching absorbs part of the um, forces of that collision so that your child is not you know, moving so much in that seat. It really helps to absorb a lot of that pressure by the stitching coming out slowly. So really great features there. And really from the top in terms of specs of the seat. So you have extended rear facing capability from five to 50 pounds or 49 inches tall, that's very tall for rear facing. 
In forward facing mode, you can use the seat up to 65 pounds or 49 inches tall. And in booster mode, you can use this seat to 120 pounds or um, 63 inches tall. So really great versatility here. You can see we've got a anti-rebound bar. We've got two removable cup holders. You've got multiple stages of infant inserts that can be removed according to the age and stage of your child. Plus you've got your, I'm just gonna extend our harness here so that we can pull up our multi harness position heights. I believe there's 12 um, headrest positions that this can go to, which is phenomenal. And you've got multiple recline positions, which you can um, press these buttons on the side of your frame to get your seat into the ideal recline. Now, those are really the key elements of this seat. And while I talked about them quickly, there's just so many great features. So I've got my um, anti-rebound bar installed, and then I've got my seat in the recline position that I want. Now, when you wanna adjust that, it's just at your side panel here. There is also an, a recline guide at the side that will help to ensure that you're getting the proper recline position for your vehicle. With an infant, you're always going to want to achieve that 45 degree recline for them in the seat. Now, we've got our click tight installation door. So come in close and take a look at this because this is what makes the Britax One for Life and so many of the Britax seats so easy to install. So you've got this install, click tight install door that you're just gonna squeeze and open. Then we're going to take our seat belt, pull it out, make sure that we have a nice smooth line between the lap and the shoulder belt, no kinks or anything. We're gonna thread that across, plug it into our seat belt and remove any slack. So while with other seats, you kind of need to ratchet the seat and really yank and pull to get a very tight install, with the One for Life and with the Click Tight installation system, you really just need to push down on this Click Tight door. So let's push down. And this seat is installed in rear facing mode. I have to say it is a phenomenal install. Really that can take a total of 30 seconds and you are getting a super secure install in your vehicle seat. Now that we are ready for a forward facing install, I've removed uh, a couple of my infant inserts here. You can also remove, this is a removable um, headrest support as well. You can also adjust the position of your crotch strap. So I just wanna point that out. And one other thing before we get into the install is I wanna show you these great ventilation panels that you see once the infant inserts are removed. This just really helps to maximize airflow throughout the seat and it's really nice for keeping your little one comfortable. So when we are in uh, getting ready for a forward facing install, we're going to release the tether from the back of the seat. It's got a little storage latch here. And we will ensure that we have enough slack. So at the back of our seat, there's going to be an anchor. Now, because this is a V-shaped tether, so your tether is coming from two sides of the seat, um, I do find that you can usually position it on either side of your headrest support, but if there is any sign of interference, remove your headrest, no problems there. I'm going to connect this to the back of my vehicle seat. And now we're going to just tighten that up and we are ready to open up our click tight door to do that install in forward facing mode. So we'll open up our click tight door. We're going to be going through these belt paths on the side that are shaded in green to identify a forward facing install. So we'll feed our belt, our shoulder and belt through both paths. Attach to our seat belt, remove any excess slack out of the back here. Close our click tight door. And again, we are fully installed in forward facing mode. Like I'm moving the entire seat here. This is a super secure install and I love the lack of fiddling that we needed to do to get there. So we are ready for booster mode now. A few things that I wanna mention is you'll wanna put your headrest up in a higher position as you're installing in booster mode. 
love how high this goes, but if there is ever any interference with your headrest and in the car seat and your vehicle's headrest, make sure that you're removing that vehicle headrest so that there is no interference. I've also already removed our crotch buckle and moved my harness to the back, but I will quickly show you just how easy it is to pull this harness out of the way. There's no unbuckling it and fully removing it and storing it elsewhere. You've got great onboard storage that really you're just tucking in behind um, the frame fabric. So getting into our install for booster mode, we've got our top tether, which is still installed from when we were in forward facing. We're just going to open up our click tight base. We've got our latch connectors in the back here that we're just going to disconnect and then push through the um, forward facing install path making sure that there's no twists and turns. I'm going to attach this to the base of my vehicle and then attach to the other side as well. Now I will just tighten this up. Again, making sure there's no twists in our seatbelt. We've got a nice um, tight connection there and then we close our click tight door and you are ready to go in booster mode. When you are putting the seatbelt on your child, you can see you've got this um, pull through or this uh, belt path here that you're going to ensure that your seatbelt is rooted through to get a nice proper fit on your child's neck and shoulder area. And then you would just have the belt rooted over their lap as such making sure again that there's no twists and turns. And there you have the Britax One for Life all-in-one car seat. So there you have it, the top all-in-one car seats of 2024. Now some of these seats are bringing great safety, functionality, everything to the table. But you know, the best thing about an all-in-one car seat is you're one and done. You've got a car seat that can take you all the way from the infant stage to the booster. Now, if you already have an infant bucket seat, it still is worth considering an all-in-one car seat for your convertible and beyond stages because it can really suit just so many needs and really consolidate needing to have multiple car seats into only needing to have one or two car seats. It's also, again, great for a second vehicle. So some really great options here. Don't forget to check out our top infant car seats of 2024 video if you are considering that channel. We have so many other roundups available on YouTube to help you in your parenting journey because that is ultimately our goal here at Snuggle Bugs. So the other thing I wanna mention is we have stores in Ontario and British Columbia. Go to your local Snuggle Bugs store to test one of our car seats in your vehicle to ensure that you can get the optimal fit for your family and your vehicle's needs. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll catch you on the next one.